Welcome to AstroFest 2025. I want to show you all the cool tech that's on display this year. They mounted two telescopes to an EQ6 Pro. Really cool setup and really cool idea to just, instead of locking around massive counterweights, just add another telescope and use that as a counterweight and get twice as much light gathering capability. Not only were they showing off their new Eagle 6, the latest version of the Eagle, they're also showing off this massive, massive rig with automated flat field panel and everything. It was really, really cool. They were actually showcasing their brand new lineup of their own telescopes that they were going to be launching launching later this year. So really cool to see and it's nice to see more brands making telescopes, adding more competition into the fields. I talked to the guys over there and said, it's not really a practical setup. It's not something you want to actually deploy. It's more like a, a showpiece. The idea behind it was if you were going to shoot both RGB and luminance frames, you could do all of it at once with this quadruple setup. They're also showing up some really cool new star boxes. I'll have a video coming out about this if you want to dive into more details. And now we are talking observatory grade equipment. These like massive Newtonians were absolutely amazing. The secondary mirror though, will pretty much put the main mirror in my own Newtonian to shame. It's cool to see and try to get like up close and personal with some of this equipment that you can only dream of ever getting your hands on trying yourself. QSI was showing off their professional line of cameras with built-in filter wheels. This allowed them to have less light leakage between the camera and the filter wheel, which also means that of course you're gonna get better images and you can reduce the overall optical path giving you options to add more equipment without breaking your back focus. There was a imaging competition. It was really cool to see a lot of the images that people had brought in that were being judged. And later today, there's going to be a draw to try to find a winner. The British Interplanetary Society had their Soyuz capsule docking simulator on display that you can actually try. I had a go at it myself and got a successful dock and you got a little certificate saying that you manually docked a Soyuz capsule to a space station. So that's really cool. Overall, I had a really great time here at AstroFest. All the vendors behind me have a lot of their gears on discount so you can get some really good prices if you consider coming in here next year.